Carmine Sabia here for Explain America. Folks, Jim Jordan has dropped the hammer on the Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's office in a big way. First, before we get started, I would like to ask you to like, comment, share, and subscribe to our video. It really helps the channel grow, and we really do appreciate it. Folks, Jim Jordan sent a letter to Matthew Colangelo. Now, he is the senior special counsel, or the senior counsel, rather, for the Manhattan District Attorney's Office in which Jordan demanded an interview with him because there's a few interesting things about Mr. Colangelo that caught Jordan's attention. You see, Colangelo has worked for, the, for various organizations within the government that have been going after former President Donald Trump. And the New York Times reported that Colangelo was brought in to Bragg's office for the specific purpose of jump-starting the investigations into Trump. Now, Jordan has received pushback in the past from Bragg's office for having interviews get done with them or having oversight. So what Jordan did was he reminded Bragg and Colangelo in this letter of Congress's unique oversight to this investigation. In fact, what he said was, Congress has a duty and an obligation to make sure that presidents and former presidents aren't targeted for political prosecution by district attorneys. Colangelo now will likely have to respond to this letter from Jordan, and he's going to have to answer some serious questions. Why was he brought into Bragg's office? What were the credentials? Did he say, come help us get Donald Trump? Because if he did, that's a very big deal. That goes back to the old Soviet style of, show me the man, I'll show you the crime. And that's not how our justice system works. How it is supposed to work in a perfect world, in a perfect justice system, in the justice system of the United States of America is that you find a crime, and then you find the person responsible for that crime. Not you find the person you want to be responsible for a crime, and then you try to make a crime stick. And that's just what it seems like they've been doing with President Trump. When you go back to the Ukraine investigation and his phone call with Zelensky, when you go back to even further to the Russian collusion investigation, you go back to the raid on Mar-a-Lago for documents, various lawsuits brought against him, the list goes on and on. Now you have the DA's office, you have Georgia, you have all these places. You launch enough investigations into anybody, you're going to get some jury somewhere that's going to make something stick. It's kind of reminiscent of how the government went after the mafia. If you keep hitting people with something, eventually you're going to find something that sticks to them. Unfortunately, in the case of former President Donald Trump, there's just too many people who are out for his scalp. It'd be very interesting to see if Colangelo gives this interview, because if he does, it could expose... Alvin Bragg and his entire office for what exactly has been going on. I think one thing that Jordan wants to know is, was the federal government involved in any level on this investigation? I think he wants to see if there was any communique between Bragg's office and the Justice Department, between Bragg's office and officials in the White House. And it's going to be very interesting if those documents, those notes, those letters are revealed and show something other than what Bragg has been saying this whole time that he's been operating as an independent district attorney. So this could be a big one, folks, and one you should watch. In the meantime, I want to thank you for joining us here again at Explain America. I'm Carmine Sabia. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.